My name is Hannah Fletcher. Um, hi, Tyler. I'm so excited to be speaking with you. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Well, I'm really excited. I personally think that this endeavor for you is so wonderful. Talk to me about what your initial reaction was when you found out that you were greenlit for a project quite like this. Oh, man. I mean, talk, I mean, it was probably one of the, the I remember it was January 30th. It was my birthday. They gave me the call. And uh, it was the, the best gift I could have ever received. Um, it's uh, something that I really wanted to share with everybody. Um, it's like the next step in my career, I felt. And to finally be here to do this and, we're, you know, to announce the show and release it on April 18th. Uh, it's just to be on Prime Video, too, like a platform like that is incredible. So uh, I'm just excited to be here, excited to let it all rip finally. I love that. I, one of the things that I really loved about watching your trailer is the fact that you you kind of gave a little bit of insight. And if you could expound on it, I would love that um, in regards to like how you kind of got into the whole home renovation space and how this love kind of like came about for you. Yeah, my dad was a builder, you know, he's he's done it for 35 years. And so I kind of always was going to follow in his footsteps, I thought. And uh, I worked for him for a little while and it was fun. I learned a lot. It was not great because I was like, you don't want to pay me. And two, <laughs> I want to start my own company one day. And uh, I think that's, you know, so he's always been my inspiration. Um, he always started his own company and, and went his own route. And I just admire him for all the hard work he's done. Um, so this is my crack at it. And you guys got to see me start from ground zero here. Definitely. I'm, I'm curious to know, was there anything in particular that was more challenging going into this process? Maybe than you assumed, obviously you can take on challenges. We know this because obviously the series coming out, it's, it's going to yeah. be successful, but yeah. My dad makes it look pretty easy. You know, okay. he kind of can manage all these teams from afar. And, but the problem is we, we packed nine houses into seven months. And uh, you got to have a real big team for that. And you got to manage the production, construction, design, and, and clients all at once. Um, mm -hmm. So it was a lot of moving pieces, a lot of things going on. And I had to hire a, a lot of help. And some help was good. Some help was bad. We had to let help go. It was a lot. So uh, um, I think, you know, one of the biggest lessons I learned was making sure you had the right people around you. Definitely. I, I'm personally curious to ask you as well, when it comes to having a process like this, you know, you've been in the reality space before and having the cameras, you know, nothing scripted, you know, you have producers giving you an assist, but, but you're really being documented for your authentic reactions in real time. Was there any apprehension coming into this process of having that like reality factor of, of having the cameras there with, with you? Or were you like, oh, this is familiar territory. Let's get back into this. For me, it was really, I wanted to make sure the cameras were capturing the real stuff, like what we right. really do. You know, like uh, I think one of the great parts of me being a producer was like we would get to kind of talk about like, what would you really do in this situation? Like, where would you have this meeting? What would you do here? What would you do there? You know, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, they talk, oh, let's go putt putt for this, you know, for this meeting. I was like, hey, guys, we don't putt putt. That's for the tourists. That's for the local people. You know, the local people, we go on the water. We talk it out on the water. We, you know, or, you know, have a beer at a bar, you know, that's how we do it, you know? And so I wanted to make sure that came across. And um, I think you get a real true authentic view of what Jupiter life is like for us. Definitely. I'm curious to know, what is it that you're hoping that your audience is connecting with and taking away after they're seeing this? Um, I hope they learn with me. You know, I think you see me from episode one to episode eight, learning a ton and growing throughout this whole show. And I think there's a ton of knowledge to learn from this show, and I hope you guys grow and learn with me. And I also hope you see, like, the full side of me. I think that every show I've been on before, you've seen bits and pieces of me. I think in this show, you see the professional side, the serious, the funny, uh, the heartfelt, emotional side. Like, I think you see it all on this show. Definitely. I, I love that so much. I'm so excited for you. I have to ask you right before we go, do you have any thoughts or anything, obviously, in terms of, I know we just finished out, um, the Bachelor and everything like that. Do you have any predictions or any hopes for maybe the Golden Bachelorette or anything like that? Or will you be tuning into Jen's season? Um, I, I, I will. If I can get my TV set in my house, I will be watching. Right now, I have no TV because I'm renovating my house. But hopefully, I can tune in and watch soon. Um, I think the Bachelor's making a little bit of a comeback, which is good to see. You know, I think Joey had a great season. And I think people are going to be excited for Jen's. And I think we're going to get a Golden Bachelorette. You know, and maybe one day they'll have me be the Golden Bachelorette. Who knows? I love that. All right. Well, we'll manifest it. Thank you so much for speaking with us. I really appreciate it. And congratulations with everything. Awesome right. job. Thank you very much. Have a good one.